Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Jonathan Wilkerson and I am in the city, not doing what I was talking about in one of the clips, urban foraging or inner city foraging, because I'm trying to tell people that there is a lot of food right here in the city that uh, is edible. And you don't always have to go out to the wild and the woods to get something that is nutritious and edible and herbal, medicinal, all that good stuff. But in this little spot right here, I was asked, I'm over here, you can see I'm in the city. I'm over here and I was asked if this mushroom could be eaten. And although it looks wonderful, big, nice, and meaty and all this stuff, we'll notice the uh, green spores down here in the gills. This is a dead giveaway. This mushroom is this huge mushroom, and I mean, it's big. It is the false parasol. And although it looks good, it looks like a Gyricus campestris, a commonly eaten mushroom, it is not good. And this mushroom right here is toxic. It will cause you gastrointestinal upset vomiting, diarrhea, stomach aches, and the likes. And so, my answer is, no. <laughs> you cannot eat this big, beautiful, delicious looking mushroom. And I mean, it's a big mushroom. And it's very beautiful to see and uh, admire and everything from a distance, but that's about all. You do not want to ingest this mushroom under any circumstances. So I've let the people here that think they can come out and harvest these things know that it's a no-go. Look at that, huge mushroom, huge. Too bad it wasn't food. Well. Like I said, admired it for its beauty and its function in our ecological system and leave it alone. That's about it. Well, I hope I uh, gave you a heads up on something that should not be touched. The false parasol, people. You notice it's uh, markings and how it looks beautiful mushroom well I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and whether you're in the woods or even in the inner city I still say happy foraging bye bye